I was like, I got spidey senses. Like, I really feel like <laughs> it's funny, but I really feel like that. Like, I really, I don't know. I be seeing stuff happen before it even happened. Personally, I feel like I'm the best route runner. I feel like I'm the best receiver in the draft. Oh, oh. <clears throat> Film don't lie. Tank, in just a couple of days, somebody is going to walk on a stage, read a card, and say, with the blank pick, blank team selects, Tank Dale, wide receiver, University of Houston. What will that moment represent for you? Um, that moment would be everything for me, you know, my whole life. That's what I've dreamed to, um, dreamed to happen, you know, getting my name called on that stage and pursuing my dreams. Tank Dale. Sitting back at his 35-yard line. We'll talk wide receiver in a second, but you also put the special and special teams. This was against UTSA. What do you remember about this play here? Before this play, I, I, I wanted the ball. You know, I, I was hoping they kick it far because I know they was. I, um, my special teams coach told me they was gonna try to play keep away from me during the return game. So once they kicked and I saw it come off his foot and I saw it, it was it was um, gonna go deep. I was like, it's over with. That's just something I feel like I was blessed with. I said in my, one of my interviews back at the combine, I was like, I got spidey senses. Like, I really feel like that. <laughs> it's funny, but I really feel like that. Like, I really, I don't know. I be seeing stuff happen before it even happened. Like, it be all, it be played out before it happened. So, it's just instinct. Like, just me doing what I do best. Tank, he'll give it a go. First man misses. He's got an alley. Right back up the middle of the cut at midfield. There goes Tank. You know, I caught the ball, I knew I had to hurry up. As soon as I caught the ball, I knew I had to hurry up and get off that spot so the first man won't tackle me, so he'll miss and whiff me. So that's what I did. And after that, the little hesitation, I don't know where that came from. Like, that's, like I said, that's that spidey. I don't know, I don't know, like, I don't know how I pulled that out right there, but that just happened. Just look at the kicker. Where, where was he going? What was, <laughs> what was he thinking there? <laughs> I don't know what he was thinking. <laughs> We was taught, like, from since high school long enough, I was taught never, even in the Little League, like, never get tackled by the kicker. Toon has time. Deep ball. Dell behind the defense. He's got it for the touchdown. When it comes to route running, why do DBs have so much trouble staying in front of you? Um, that's a question you got to ask them guys. <laughs> but, uh, no, nah, I just feel like, personally, I feel like I'm the best route runner. I feel like I'm the best receiver in the draft, but that's just my confidence always through the roof. It is Texas Tech one. Um, I remember we called this play early in the game, but we called this as a pump, so it was like a like a slant and go type. But early in the game, we just called the slant, and like the dude, he was driving on it. The safety was driving on it in the corner, was playing flat-footed and things like that. So I went back to the huddle. I, mean, I went back to the sideline. I told my head coach, Coach um, Hogerson, I was like, yo, we need to pump this. Like, we need to add it, add something to it. And you know, we went in halftime, made that adjustment, and then I just sold it the same way I did early in the game, made everything look the same. And soon I like out of the corner of my eye, soon I saw him bite down that for that um, slant route. Got my foot on the ground and I went, yeah, it was over. So another conference game. Red zone. When you get one on one coverage like that, at what point are you celebrating a touchdown in your head when you see one on one, <laughs> one, -on -one coverage like that? Uh, <laughs> I don't like to celebrate too early, but I be on that type of timing for sure. I've been with Toon for three years, so when I give him that look or he give me that look, I already know the ball coming to me. So I probably be celebrating a little early, but I got I know I gotta secure the catch. I for sure be like when I when I see one on one, I be licking my lips like, oh, it's over with. Are you a trash talker when you're on the field too? Oh, guarantee. <laughs> guarantee. I talk the whole game. I be saying a lot of stuff like I don't know, it just be coming to my head and whatever comes to my head, I'm I'm just blurting it out every time. Another one like, of your spider senses? Yeah, <laughs> Coach Hogan sometimes Coach Hogan would be like, you're doing too much. <laughs> you got to chill. I want to go back to the release at first. Just the steps. Walk me through this, what you're, what you're looking for here to get a defender to shift like that. Right here, I'm just pressing him. I'm eating up his cushion, trying to make him make a decision right now. Like, if he was going to jump inside me. And, you know, as I came out the ball, <laughs> as I came out the ball, I see him. I kept seeing him inch and inch and inch. But he wasn't trying to overdo it, but he kept inching there. So when I knew when I put my last foot in the ground, I was going to make it seem like I'm going to go. Like, that's why I stuck it so hard. Like, you'll see right here, I <clears throat> like made it seem like, okay, he's going to leave. And soon, soon he opened the gate like that, I knew it was over with. Tune throws to Tank Dell. They had him isolated on the left side. Touchdown, Cougars. So if I'm a DB lining up, you want an inside release. 
What are you looking for when you matched up one on one with a DB like this? Um, if he outside, yeah. if he in, he's just playing head up. Heads up, yep. I'm gonna try to give him something to make it seem like I want to win inside, like I did in that game. I probably scoot in to make you feel like I'm gonna go out there. You can win inside, also like you can just <laughs> get inside of him, give him some at the line, get inside of him, and you know chicken wing. Oh, oh, <clears throat> Tim, don't lie.